Welcome to today's video. I am the Hooded Lid and I have some new products for you today. And it's from Burrito. Burrito is a perfume line. I believe they are a Danish company. And they just got into makeup. This is how it came. It came in a white box, which I threw away. But it comes in this terribly chic, I'm sorry it is, lunch bag. I love this. And I got two lip colors and two eye colors. Packaging is like this. So for the lip color, for instance, the name, Subtropical, in a cofferette. The cofferette's a little bit flimsy. And then they have this um, dust bag, which makes sense because this is the packaging. And you don't want this to get scratched up. This packaging is insane. Very, very sturdy, really, really pretty. It feels like luxury. They have a mascara, which I didn't get, an eyeliner, which I didn't get. They also have two, well, three lip products. One is a balm for $43. I don't think so. And then there's lips like this, one in a matte and one in a satin. So there's several colors of satins, several colors in matte. Unfortunately, the packaging is exactly the same, so you can't look at it and go, oh, that's the matte one. You actually have to pick it up and look at it to see which one is which. And then they have these color crayons. Now these can be used anywhere you want. You can put them on your cheeks, on your eyes, on your lips, but most of the colors are for your eyes. I can see if you're really brave, you could put blue on your lips and maybe very sheerly on your cheeks and on your lips, but I'm not that person. I got two of these, and I'm not sure what to do with them, honestly. I was thinking, yeah, I can make these work together. I love these two colors together, but they're both a little dark. These don't feel quite as heavy as the lipsticks, and they're not as expensive as the lipsticks either. I'll just do a little swatch for you. And I figured this could be lip, cheek, and eye, and that's Mesolithic and Kumato. It's kind of like tomato, 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 but kumato? Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Same thing, and this is in a green. Like yay. So, I'm going to put up my hair. It's going to be warm, and we're going to put some stuff on my face. Now, while we're at it, my hair looks a little bit crazy pants, but it's fine. I just wanted to talk to you about the price. So the color sticks are $30, and like I said, the packaging is much, much different. It's so light, as opposed to this, which is almost a weapon. And the lipsticks are $42, including the lip balm. The mascara is $45. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? And the eyeliner is $40. So. I have no interest, one, but at those prices, I have no interest at all. So, let's put some stuff on the eyes, shall we? I do have mascara on. I did shoot a different video this morning, but I don't have, I have a little bit of blush on my eyes. That's it. So, I think what I'm going to do is this color, kind of all over, and I'm going to pick it up, this Wayne Goss brush, which is very, very, very similar to a MAC, 217 and just see what happens if I apply it this way. There's nothing on my lids, there's no primer or foundation, but there is a little bit of blush. And this is a nice little haze. Alright. Oh. <laughs> It is magnetic. <laughs> it's, it's doing a dance. Okay. I think I hear the sound of Lucy figuring out I'm not in the living room. She's going to come in here and say, what's up? And what you doing?
So there's something just quite sheer. It's a little bit of color, gives a little bit of life to your face. Totally workable with that application. But I swatched my hand a little while ago and look, it doesn't set. So I have a feeling this is gonna be something that creases. I do want to just put a little bit on my cheeks and see if this color is cheek worthy. Indeed, I think it is. Let's try it on the lips. Okay. On the lips, you can see the iridescent nature. It is scented. I can't put my finger on the scent, but it's perfume. And you know what? I don't mind it on the lip either. This one, I think, can hit every single area and you can look um, non-editorial. You can take this out. There's definitely a shift to this color here. I'm just going to slowly move back and forth and zoom. Let's do stage two, where we're going to go in directly. See how much more color there is that way? Hmm. Interesting. I like having that much color. I'm just moving it around a little bit closer to the lash line because it's harder for me to get it to the lash line and then I'm just going to diffuse the edges. It's just now occurring to me that the lip colors I got are not going to go with the eye colors I got. So I took that off my lips because I, I think we're going to have a real problem with the lip colors I chose, so I'm going to do the lip colors now. Now, I took my notes, but I don't remember where they were. I took notes at one time and at another time. I have two things. One's a matte and one's a satin, and I can't remember which is which, so we'll have to put it on and I can tell you. This is subtropical, and this is a bit of a coral shade, and there she is. It feels smooth going on, so I think this is the satin. Okay, this feels nice, and it tastes a little sweet, and it smells a little vanilla. Well, it did last night when I tried it, and now I'm not getting this scent of vanilla, but I do still get that sweet taste. It's so, so pigmented, and a little bit cushy. It feels nice on my lips. And the color... <laughs> okay, here's the deal. They have a lot of colors, and a lot of them are sold out. But they don't have a good return policy, so they say they take returns, and they do if you don't use the product. So because it's not an American company, it's a European company, I, I guess it's the European kind of policies, which are you buy it, you keep it. You put it on and you're like, ick, no, you're stuck with it. So I wanted to get colors that I thought wouldn't be questionable for me. And some colors, movie colors, can be questionable for me because if it's too gray, I look like I'm dead. Really dark colors can be questionable for the same reason. So I got the subtropical because I didn't keep the Hermes orange that I got because it just wasn't quite right and I thought... This might be close to an orange, but it's not really. But it is comfortable, and it is saturated, and this is what it looks like on my skin tone, and this is what it looks like on my hand. It's brighter on my hand, I think. And here we have Le Flame. Like yay. And let's do a swatch right next to each other so you can see the difference. Everything is sticking to each other, guys. Aha, okay. This is the flame. So this is much more red to orange. And comparing to each other, you can see how much pink there is in this one, which is subtropical. And this is matte. This is the orange one, the one that I thought might be my orange that the Hermes was not, and you know what? 
This is a pretty darn good orange. This is a good, good, good orange. I like it because it's not old fashioned. Oranges can look like, oh, did you grab this out of a, you know, antique shop, 1950s lipstick? Do you know what I mean? To keep an orange modern, I think is tricky. And I think this is a modern orange. Does it go with his eye? Probably not. So let's take a look at the eye and see what's going on. It hasn't creased, so that's interesting. And with me, because I'm hooded, if I'm going to crease, I'm going to do it really, really fast. So that's interesting. It didn't stay on my hand, but it is staying on the eyes. Now we're going to go in with the green color, and I don't really know what I want to do. I think these two colors can look really nice together, but not for the day. I'm going to use this. It's not all that dense, but I'm going to use this green as a liner so here's a sheer application right close to the eye and I am not mad at it on this eye let's just put it directly in that position to the best of my ability Not much of a difference. It does look more intense in its color, but this is not a bad payoff at all, just sheared on like that. And I'm just going to move it up a little bit. Go back with this brush. and just kind of blend out and have these two colors kind of co-mingle together. I don't know, you know what you guys? It's been kind of an ethereal thing. Oh, I like it. And I am all about soft, ethereal, super feminine makeup. I'm not so sure about the lip. On the one hand, maybe it's keeping the whole look from becoming too tragically ethereal and feminine, and maybe it's making it a little more modern? I don't know. Alright, here's what I know, you guys. For the sake of this video, I did try on these lips yesterday so I could let you know if they're comfortable or not, and I have to say they, they relatively are comfortable. The satin much more so than the matte, but the matte's not terribly uncomfortable. It is a little drying. If you've never been here before, my lips are a little sensitive and I'm super fussy about my lip products. I'm the person who's like, ooh, ooh, no, nope, oh, no, nope, get off my lips. Um, whereas I see other people go, oh yeah, I, I find such and such comfortable. I'm the one who, who doesn't. The packaging is the same, so it's really hard to know which one is which, but it's also beautiful it's weighty, it's heavy, it's unusual. I like it. $43. It's a lot cheaper. It's like half the price almost. Well, not quite, but it's a lot cheaper than the Hermes. Of course, it's not Hermes, but I'm just saying. I like. I think I made good choices. These I didn't try yesterday, so I don't know what their lasting power is going to be, but they did increase while I was working on my lips, and generally they would because of my hoodedness, and it didn't. I really, really love these, and they come in tons of colors. And, you know, on their website, they go for really tragic editorial looks with blue all over the face and, you know, water like it's, it's dripping down your face, which I don't think they're doing themselves any favors. It's okay to have one or two shots like that, but you gotta show us what this looks like or what the potential is, I think this is a very pretty, soft, lovely look. And I think I can have fun with these and I might want to get some more, I don't know. But I like it. It's not like, look at my skill. It's more like, look at my face, look at my eyes. And I really like the effect that I got. So there you have it. Good on you. This is a brand, I, I was really interested in the packaging, but I've tried many of the perfumes and they all kind of open great and then they fitter away sometimes into mendacity and you know sometimes just they disappear 
So as a perfume line, I've been so interested and yet overall disappointed. And I was afraid that the makeup line would be the same thing, but it's not. I like what's going on here. If you like those kind of watercolor things, something easy to apply. The lips are pretty comfortable. The packaging is really nice. These especially, I think, are, are worth looking into. And that, my friends, is the products I got from Pareto. Thumbs up. I'm, I'm really impressed and I have to tell you, a little surprise. I want to thank you for spending some time with me. I hope this was helpful to you. Maybe I gave you a couple of ideas and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart and I'm wishing you good health.